Late night comedian Stephen Colbert went after Democrat Senator Kirsten Sinema for not siding with President Biden on the filibuster. And then he took it someplace else. To do that, they have to modify the filibuster. But that dream died last week thanks to Arizona Senator and Mrs. Hamburglar. <laughs> Kirsten Sinema, stop acting like the filibuster is anything other than an anti democratic tool, which is also a pretty good description of Kirsten Sinema. I mean, I, you know, we're looking for funny. Comedians can do what they want. Joe, what do you make of this? Wow, you, you close your eyes and it's like Don Rickles uh, sitting down with uh, Johnny Carson, right? Is that supposed to be comedy? Uh, and, and have you seen the promos for, for Colbert these days? It's like, join Stephen tonight as Elizabeth Warren stops by. It's like, oh, that sounds hilarious. Or Bernie Sanders is in the house. It's well, like, these he are a your mix guests. Of like, I don't know, rip from the headlines type guy and humor. I don't know. I, I, it's been a while since I've seen the show. Yeah, well, look, I'd say harassing Kirsten Cinema in a bathroom isn't going to change your mind on the filibuster. We saw that back in Arizona. Yeah. Or, or people on other cable news networks saying that she and Senator Manchin are the type of people that Martin Luther King opposed, uh, that they're sticking with their principles on the filibuster, that that's their crime. They've been very consistent on that, by the way. And these attacks from myopic clowns like Stephen Colbert will only strengthen their resolve. Trust mm. me, you're not missing anything, Harris, when you don't turn into Colbert. It's like watching an extension of CNN, except you have a live studio audience uh, clapping like seals at, at every what's supposed to be a punchline, I guess. And you get to see a bunch of Democratic politicians uh, tout whatever they're touting that particular week. It's really exciting stuff. So Colbert is getting knocked today, Kaylee, for, you know, basically going down the lane of body shaming because of the comments that he made about what she was wearing and what she looked like to him. What do you make of it? Yeah, I think it's misogyny um, at its worst. And I agree with Stephen Miller, who tweeted, this isn't comedy anymore. This is group therapy for libs. That's exactly what his show is, as wow. described by mm -hmm. Joe. But look, I think it's misogyny. And here's why I say this, Harris. Do you remember that SNL, Saturday Night Live portrayal of Kirsten Cinema? They called her, direct quote, a wine-drinking bisexual triathlete. Yes. I know what the average American wants. That's I when remember. they were depicting her. That was a quote that came out of her mouth. Have you seen these deeply personal attacks on Mansion for his appearance, for his predilection for a certain drink, for his sexual mm. preference? Yeah. No, you have not. Uh, it's only cinema, and I believe it's because she's a woman. That that's so interesting. Mm. I also haven't seen them follow him into the bathroom. I mean, like mm. Joe said. I mean, these things are. And, you know, we usually, at least on the show of four strong women every day, we don't go down the, the aisle of who's a victim and all of that. But, I mean, look at this video. I can't, can you imagine somebody following Senator Joe Manchin or any other man into a bathroom like this? No. I, I just can't. I, don't, I can't imagine that. Emily? Right. I think I, I, I gently disagree with Kaylee only to say this. I think that the, the reason it's not misogyny. I think it was an attempt at comedy. But what I see it, it's because she's an approved target. Kristen Cinema mm. is an approved target because the president put a target on her back. Pelosi put a target on her back. Other leading Democrat members put targets on her back because there were 45 other Democratic senators, for example, that filibustered in response to um, the, the attempt by the Republican senators to sanction the Russian pipeline. Remember that? Yeah. This was just a couple days ago, but it's okay for him to mock in that disgusting manner cinema and mansion because they're the ones that are the approved. Um, what was that movie with the, the kids on the island, the pig one? Um, Lord of the Flies, because this wow. is the, their Lord of the Flies, right? She's I've piggy. got the conch. She's you're so piggy. smart, Emily. Like, even when you <laughs> do a metaphor, I'm like, wait, oh, gosh, I don't think she's talking Disney. She's, that's not what she's watching. Uh, Dagan, take us home. Stephen Colbert deserves all the disdain that he gets and the revision, uh, revulsion that people feel toward him. He's not a comedian. He hasn't been a comedian mm. forever. Oh. He's not funny. Look at the joke about um, Kirsten Cinema. That's I, that is. It's not funny because she does. I I am a McDonald's expert. She doesn't look like the hamburger. <laughs> the show belongs on oh MSNBC. And he is so painfully yes. unfunny. If you like the dancing vaccines to, oh. I think it was La Bamba. Yeah. If you watch his show, you literally have to go and watch like hours of Rodney Dangerfield stand up 
or wow. listen to Jimmy Fallon for hours, or you know what? I volunteer for Binge that. watch Gutfeld <laughs> because it because you yes. feel when you right. watch Colbert, you feel like you're never gonna laugh again. We just <laughs> migrated from Joe at CNN to. Um, to you, Dagan, at MSNBC for where Stephen Colbert can go work now. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> okay, we'll move.